Questions? How did Minnesota's receivers stack up against uh, guys like from Colorado or Ohio State? Um, they're up there, right, right with them. They, those are great guys. Those are that's a really strong receiving group, right there. Um, you know, we, we got to be really serious and really dialed in this week because if you're not on point, they'll they'll make you pay for it. All three were pretty big guys. Like they seem six two, six three ish. Is that accurate? Is yeah. Size yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's about accurate. Yeah, especially from what I remember uh, lining up on them last year. Oh, they're they're pretty stout guys. So when you're when you're facing a player like that, what are the advantages you have and the disadvantages you have playing a bigger receiver? Probably a little bit of both there. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, there's definitely a little bit of both. A uh, good thing is I move really well, um, you know, uh, with speed and, and laterally. So you know, uh, some big guys they they love when you touch them because you know they want you to touch them. They want to be able to use their body. And other big guys, you know, they don't love when you touch them. So it's not even so much about you know um, just being a big guy. It's about you know the way that you play being a big guy. So you know, I just try to um, feed off of that. When you look at Johnson, how does he rank compared to the other receivers in the conference? You see that career. Oh, he he's tops. He's tops. Um, you know, and that's that's not even just going back to last year. Um, even I remember him uh, the year before that. You know, doing big things. He's he's definitely a top guy. Played um, in, in some of your sub stuff on Saturday. Played in the slot or slot. Um, what's different about lining up there compared to out of the Um. You know, just it's, it's kind of, um, you know, out on, on the edge, um, a lot of things can be eliminated just by where a receiver lines up. And um, when you line up in the slot, it's kind of more of a wild card. You know, it's, it was in, speaking in, in man coverage, it's more of a wild card. Um, so you got, you got to have to rely more, more on your help a little bit more in the slot and just knowing, um, you know, kind of based on where he's lined up, where he could go. Really, in reality, they can go anywhere they want to go. But um, you know, you just you just have to be more mindful of you know eliminating routes. Uh, the more the more the route progresses down the field. How, how have you seen Braxton play on the outside? Some of that that package. How have you seen his progress? Um, maybe not only in the offseason, but over the course of the first half of the season. Uh, yeah, Bra Braxton's on on the upward trend. You know, um, he's been playing really well. Uh, he, he'll continue to play to play well if if he keeps doing what he's doing. You know, he's been very attentive to detail. Um, putting forth his best ep effort out there. Um, so, you know, Braxton has really become a staple for us. When you face a young offense like Minnesota has, just in general, what, what are some traits of a young offense when you're, when you're scouting a team, and what's a good way to go about defending a team like um, no, a lot of um, A lot of uh, young offenses, you know, uh, they can really, they, they, they really find ways to really work, work around, you know, what, what you're doing. Um, so it's not it's not necessarily just a, a set amount of plays that, that they'll run that we that we'll know for sure are coming. Um, you know they they have the ability to change on the fly and, and the ability to attack based off of you know what what we're doing. So um, you no, know, we just at the end of the day we just got to go out there and play football. They're gonna make a couple of plays. We just gotta find a way to make more plays than than they make. Last week uh, Scott Frost talked about selling out. It's two weeks. He was counting Northwestern by. Do you get a week of rest? I mean, how how much emphasis is there in just like even if guys are nicked up, you know, let's finish this strong and then you can reset a little bit. Yeah, um, yeah. We we just kind of got to push through at this point. Uh, you know, one more game before the bye week, and you know, this is a game that we need. You know, um, we need this game uh, just just in order to you know still be in control of our of our own destiny. You know. Um, and still be able to reach our goals, do the things that we want to do. So, you know, right now, yeah, guys, guys uh, banged up, bruised up, but just about everybody is, you know, just trying to, you know, put their head down, head down and just keep working, keep on pushing, keep keep fighting, you know. Thank you, Caprio. This is maybe a little bit of a role reversal in the history of this series in that they're undefeated, nationally ranked, maybe more eyes on them as you go into Minnesota. Does that do anything for you guys and your mentality, your motivation in this game? Um, well, Kudos to them for, you know, handling what they need to handle before, you know, getting to this point. Uh, I'm pretty sure they have a mindset where, you know, each week is a new week and, you know, um, they're just trying to go one and no every week. And, you know, that's 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 our goal, too. We're trying to go one and no every week. We haven't been perfect. We, we lost two games. But, you know, um, the good thing about it is is everything, the, the two games that we lost are in the past. So, you know, um, 
we're coming off a win, and really, honestly, it, it doesn't matter because this is this is a new week, a new opportunity, and we have a new goal. We have to beat Minnesota, regardless of where we play. We could play in the middle of the ocean. You know, we just gotta we just gotta make it happen. One and know one and know for uh, this week. What have you seen out of Noah and, and Luke? Um, and their quarterback play and going against them throughout the offseason and stuff. If they're the guys who get called on in this game, well, they're, they're the guys who get called on. You know, we know they can play. We we play against them in practice. You know, they can they can do just about anything. You know, uh, those are guys. They they have uh, you know the skill sets that that um, you know our offensive coordinator wants at a quarterback. You know, otherwise they wouldn't be here. You know, and those are guys that you know if if any of those two are in the game. Um, you know, I'm I'm cool with it. You know, because I know they're our coaches are going to put them in the best position to succeed, and I know that uh, you know they can make plays too. I've seen them make plays in practice. You do practice for the game, so. Hi, this is Jason Jorgensen, sports director at KRVN. Thanks for watching our YouTube video. To keep up to date with everything we have going on with our sports coverage. You can find that, and we love to have you subscribe to our channel. Just hit the little red button in the right corner.